The day is beginning to wind down, but before it ends, I want to give you two quick challenges. Number one, the book of Psalm chapter 118 and verse 24 says, This is the day that the Lord has made, and let us rejoice and be glad in it. I don't know what kind of day you've had. Maybe it's been one of those days that is so full, you haven't even had time to stop and think straight. Maybe it's been a day with some difficulty or discouragement. Maybe it's been the type of day that you're saying, I'll be so grateful once this day is over. But friend, before it even ends, take some time today. Take a moment and just be grateful for the day that was. Grateful for a God who loves you. Grateful for a future that is bright that he has in store for you. This is the day. Let's be grateful in it, not just after it's over. And then the second challenge, number two, the book of Hebrews chapter 3 and verse 13. It says this, encourage one another day after day as long as it is called today. So I don't know what time you watch this. Maybe you don't even get it on Monday and you say it's a Monday musing and I'm watching it on Thursday morning. I don't know. But whatever day it is, one thing is true about it. It is called today. In the moment you're watching this, you are in a today. And so take this day and find a way to encourage somebody. Maybe there's somebody sitting in the room with you. Take a moment and just encourage who they are. Maybe you're sitting in a room alone or you're watching this on your phone while you commute or do something. Why don't you take a moment, look through your contact list, find somebody you haven't talked to in a while, and send them a little encouragement. It's a biblical thing to do to encourage one another as long as it's called today. So let's be grateful and let's be encouraging and let's make this an incredible week. Love you.